Every month I spend $500 on a product or service in the marketing industry and I tell you how they perform. This month I bought some backlinks. I went a little bit over budget and spent $751 because I had heard about a company called e-commerce link builders. They specialize in e-commerce related link building. So they specifically grow links for e-commerce stores. And I was curious, what exactly does that mean? And what's going on? So I went a little over budget and I spent $751. But before I tell you about that, let's go a little bit into backlinks themselves. So in 2018, the average cost of buying a link was $352.92. This is a price according to an Ahrefs study, which I really believe them and what they say because they're a great tool. Uh, today in the market, you can buy links from anything from $10 to literally thousands of dollars. And that just depends on the quality. I think this is a true thing. You get what you pay for in this. And it also depends on what you're ramping up. So let's just look at this uh, $751 and go from there. Here's how the numbers broke down, with the cheapest link being $177 and the most expensive clocking in at $327. Like most link sellers, they were selling primarily on DR and organic traffic. In case you don't know, DR means domain rating and the higher it is on a scale from zero to 100, the better. And organic traffic is just how much organic or SEO traffic is coming from search engines to the website every month. So DR is a score that can be manipulated less than organic traffic. So you'll notice that some of the more reputable link sellers will tout that organic traffic me metric. So let's look at DIY, useful DIY projects, the $177 backlink. I have covered the actual website uh, keyword that I have targeted, but that is something that you can do. You select what word you want to rank for and where you want that link to point to. So here is an article from Useful DIY Projects and also a sense of what this website looks like, the $177 link. This is not my post, but this is a post like it. Uh, my post had four backlinks. Only one of them seemed very commercial. The other ones were going to places like Architectural Digest and Medium.com. So I wasn't worried about being inundated in my own post with other retailers. Of course, that can al always change, especially now that people are buying niche edits, which is links that are already existing in content. The content exists, but they are adding a new link to it. Um, so the imagery is decent. The length of the article is decent. Um, but as you can tell, it is medium quality um, content. The Let's see how to say this. It's edited by Grammarly, I would say, but not something that I would show my team necessarily as like, oh my goodness, guess what? We're on useful DIY projects, but that's not necessarily why people buy links. So let's move along. Um, this is what this post looked like. It didn't rank for anything. Most of their posts don't, uh, at least the ones that it seems like maybe people have purchased some links to, and it got one referring domain, a couple backlinks. You know, that's usually probably the norm. And so let's go along to this DR35 to um, 49. So this is a DR39 um, is what they ended up. And this is find the home pros. So one thing that I noticed is that actually they said that the DR was 32, but it's 28. It's not a big deal. I'm, it's still in the range um, and it's still on the high side. So I'm fine with that. And also these were underestimated. So you can always expect some changes here and I'm not worried about it. Still definitely meets the 
um, criteria. So Find the Home Pro was another, the second site, and um, here is another post on this website. And here it starts, if you are someone who is concerned about their living space looking flashy but up to date, then this guide should help you out. There are tons of different ways to make your living room space stand out as stylish, stunning, and modern. Um, again, eh. I don't know, I might not read that myself. Uh, let's look at the authority via SEMrush, a different tool, and we can see that they get about uh, 935 keywords. The site, you know, it's it's been decent, it's not, you know, dropping, and the things that they're ranking for are relevant to the niche that I purchased, which is a big one. Sometimes you'll buy links and you will get some placed on a completely irrelevant website. So they did a good job there. In this way, I would definitely uh, vote for e-commerce link builders. And we can also see here the spam score of this domain on Moz is low. Um, so I'm happy with that again. They're, they're doing a decent job. Here we have um, BB, Better, Better Business Bureau is linking to them, New York Gov, you know, some, some things I've heard about, and it's not all .ru links or that kind of thing. So I'm happy with that again. And here is the homepage of Find the Home Pros if you want to check it out. Um, and one thing I th found really interesting was this it says like not acceptable on the title and URL. So I just looked at their source to see if maybe there was something going on. Um, and they were maybe like at one point a porn site, which sometimes will happen that people will buy domains not knowing that they were punished. Um, but their title is Find the Home Pros, We Have Standards. I think it might be a result of this ampersand weirdness, um, but I'm not entirely sure. At first I thought, ooh, it's a thing, but it's not a thing. I, I'm not worried about it. All right, the third link is a DR50, $327. This is the doozy. And it went to a site called Orange Marigolds. This is the widest in terms of niche. And they say that they have about 3,000 uh, organic visitors coming to this site every month. So um, here is the page. You can kind of peruse the headlines. Uh, it's very wide but lifestyle related so again I'm not worried about it lots of content on this one and one thing that I found interesting is this is the person who wrote the article and they have view counts on every single post so my post got about 158 views I think uh, it was probably 155, but then I wanted to check and see if the counter was accurate. So I, I went back and forth three times, and it gave three additional views. So you can get a sense of they usually get, that was probably a higher one, um, but they get between 50 and 150 views. And again, this is the DR. So it was way over what they estimated. Uh, not a lot of organic traffic. Um, the organic keywords are, they are what they are. And you, we see this happen with the referring domains uh, and the referring pages. The DR is upward. Um, but basically, the gist of this is that the site seems to be growing. The anchor text isn't so spammy. This is text that's linking from other places. Um, there's a lot here going on in Russia. Um, but again, I'm not too worried about it. Sometimes what will happen if you buy links, you will go to a link distributor who will purchase links and they know that they have a deal with that website. And so they'll just keep purchasing. And then you'll get one person who purchases and then spams the heck out of that site because it's a tier two site. Um, so you do have to be careful about that. Uh, and but this type of thing, like 
if you're careful about what you're doing and how you're setting this up, you're not going to hurt yourself with links. I would say in the, for the most part, people are overly scared about that. So let's just break this down, how it happened and whether it was worth the $751. So the customer service was great. There was an 18 day turnaround on the three guest posts. The website placements met the guidelines outlined in the, um, in the agreement. The writing quality was eh, not something that I would share, but fine if you're just buying backlinks. Um, and then the links that they had within my post, not worried about it, very much above average. So sometimes these link vendors, they will purchase links or they will sell you a link and then they'll repurpose your one article with four or five other link buyers and it's really obvious and it's weird looking. So I thought that was good that they, you know, put decent references with my own link. And then uh, post visibility, that one got 158 views. So not a lot. Uh, in this case, I would say if you're looking for something that will be read, I don't know that I would go with e-commerce link builders, but for the most part, that's not why people are buying links. In terms of referral traffic, I finished this order, this order finished, uh, I think in be beginning of December, and it brought from the beginning of December till now, one person. So I would say that's typical for link buying, but not great. When we get posts in wire cutter, that kind of thing, we get tons of traffic. Um, places like Living Cozy bring us reliably 100 people a month once we're placed there. So that's not really, if you were gonna go with e-commerce link builders and you wanted referral traffic, that isn't why they exist. Uh, ranking boosts, so it did move things a bit and that's a good thing. So overall, I would say if you know what you're doing and you're buying links for the purpose of buying links, go for it, give them a go. The pricing is decent and um, I was happier than other links. And one Matt, last thing before I close, and that is, is it legal or allowed to buy links according to the Google guidelines? So in this case, Google directly says not all paid links violate their guidelines. The difference here is if you're trying to manipulate the search results, you shouldn't do it. But if you're doing it for advertising purposes, meaning you want visibility, then it is allowed. And if you want to be, um, cautious about this, you can add a no follow or rel equals sponsored to the tag and um, the backlink. And, you know, there have been many tests on this and they've proven that adding no follow or rel equals sponsored does still pass link juice and rankings. So sometimes people say that that will negate the value of your link and that is not true. So it's legal to buy links if you're not doing it to manipulate Google and the other search engines and you just have to buy it for advertising purposes. Um, how that's defined is up to you. So now that you know that, thank you for watching this e-commerce link builders review and let me know if you want me to review anything else with my $500 next month. Thank you again. See you soon.